So we had a question on the forums recently about how to create a whole bunch of tubes <laughs> relative to a bunch of curves. Um, the issue that the user noticed was that if you came into the tube command like this and selected more than one tube here uh, for a particular size, and we'll say this is going to be a one millimeter tube here, then um, if there were multiple disconnected strings like that, we'd get this gaps in string message. And so uh, what he wanted to be able to do is multi-select a whole bunch of them, I mean, more than this. This is 30. He had a couple hundred that he was wanting to do. So uh, conceptually, um, my thought was that we could actually use the new algorithmic feature to do this. And let me show you how to do that really quick. So, so with this, what we can do is come into the new algorithmic feature and these algorithmic features use lists to do a lot of things. And so what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to need an output node in the end. So I'm going to stick an output node over here. But um, we can select uh, some curves like this. And this list of curves then is going to get fed into whatever operation is downstream. Each curve is going to get fed into the operation downstream. So we can grab a tube like this and stick it in between like that and this will feed each curve into the tube command here and we can tell this to create the other inputs here for this and let's say we want the outside diameter to be one and the inside diameter to be zero there in this case and then um, each of those uh, tubes then will send to the output of this algorithmic feature so now what this lets us do is again multi-select curves they'll each get sent to the tube uh, separately and, and it'll create separate tubes and then all of those bodies will come out as one feature in the end here in in this case so what we'll what we'll, and what we can do is we can save this off right so i can do a save as for instance and say that i want to i want to save this uh, and make this uh, uh, lots of tubes feature for instance that's gonna really enable multi-select for tubes <laughs> right and save that kind of a feature off and, and that can then be in the reuse library and we can reuse that okay um, we can do it interactively here as well we can do that selection right there window select say all of those curves that's so that's got 31 of them i guess see how one plus 30 offsets um, and, and you'll see things go green here right that that went green this body went out and, and actually you can see them down here now right that we've got a whole bunch of tubes uh, 30 tubes that are that are following that down below so as we finish this algorithmic feature again that's going to come in as one feature uh, in our in our tree here so here's our algorithmic feature that's this guy um, I've got that arc I've got a, a bunch of offsets in here right it creates for some reason separate offset curves there for a bunch of those um, but I've got a, a an offset user offset here so for instance I could change the distance between those and you see that updates updates quite quickly go bigger there edit my feature here and say I want these to be say three with a with a hole down the middle on each one of them things like that right and that'll that'll update quite quickly okay so again that's a that's the concept and you can edit this again you double click this to edit you'll get this kind of interface um, but again it's just the selection and kind of the available inputs for this for this feature uh, if we want to edit the logic we can come back in here and say edit definition and this will take us back into the the, the logic editor here where we can go then and start to look at specifically how we put that rule together. Okay, so hope you find that useful.